Mr. James Smith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, I'm delighted to add my voice to this call for proxy voting this evening. Just two months into my new job as a Member of Parliament for Bury North, my wife gave birth to our fourth child, Bobby. As a relatively new MP and a modern dad, I expected a modern Parliament, yet 36 <laughs> hours after our son's arrival, I had to be in Parliament on a heavy three-line whip. So my wife and I <coughs> were on the de delivery ward facing an early inducement as Nikki had a high-risk pregnancy and gestational diabetes. Knowing that this process would last for days and quite possibly clash with the vote and my need to be at both brought an edge to the room that was frankly unhealthy. For this dilemma to reach the delivery suite demonstrates well, I hope, the point as to how inflexible a parliamentary process we have in place and why this place must change. Last night, over dinner in anticipation of me saying something this evening, my wife admitted that she'd had a cry with the midwife about it. And so it seems, without modernisation, we are pitted here with our fundamental role as MPs serving our towns versus our fundamental role in life husband, wife, mum, dad, and so on. Parliament is steeped in tradition but feels impossible to move at times. We cannot deny the force of the arrival of life, thank goodness. Some might try otherwise, I would suspect. <laughs> Work-life work balance is an important attribute for every workplace, including Parliament, and this should include remote or proxy votes in special circumstances, as we're debating tonight. As is also raised in the book produced by the Fabian Society, New Brooms, which included contributions on reform for the ten of my Labour colleagues from the 2017 intake. So tonight is an important step as to how we take these ideas for reform forward, reforms that speak to the country, as my colleagues have said, and reforms as this that strengthen our democracy, make Parliament more effective for those we are sent to represent, and make our place of work resemble those that the people we represent would recognise. The urgent need for reform has never been starker. In recent time, with a minority government, knife-edge votes and some of the traditional agreements, such as pairing, breaking down. Mr Speaker, there is too much process, not enough product here. Daily life for the many will not improve away from here whilst we shuffle about with such reforms. This place needs to be better and work better for those whose lives we are here to make better, and so be best for our town and country. Proxy voting can be the first through the gate on the next generation of reform to this Parliament, and it has my full support as a dad. Thank you. The Leader of the House, Andrea Leadsom. Well, thank you, Mr Speaker, and I'm delighted to follow the Honourable Gentleman for Bury North. What a fantastic way to end our debate on the importance of dads. I think sometimes there's something we can all agree on, and the importance of dads is one of them. And I would also like to share with the pleasure of many Honourable and Right Honourable Members at the fact that the Honourable Lady, the Member for Ham Hampstead and West Kilburn, will, we hope be able to use the first proxy vote tomorrow. So it may be the first time since the 19th century, as the Honourable Lady for, for Liverpool Wavertree mentioned to us, but it certainly won't be the last time, and it is fantastic news for Parliament. It's something we can all get behind in our attempts to make this a modern workplace that more people from more diverse backgrounds of different ages and stages in their life will feel proud to come to to represent their constituents. I do hope that all honourable and right honourable members will support these motions to prove that when we really get together, we can do do great things. Thank you. Thank you.